Hi there learners and welcome to today's video where I'm just going to be sharing a couple of tips to get you started and prepared if you don't have your pet document yet for your pet. Now we know at this stage the grade 12 pet is out um, and we are just waiting for the grade 10 and 11 pet. However, you can take a couple of steps just to get yourself prepared for that. Okay, your teachers will go um, through everything with you, but I'm just making this video in case, you know, there's any delays there. So you can see that according to the pet, when we look at it, there is a particular uh, structure that we need. And I'm just going to scroll down. Uh, see, there we are. So the pet is done in three phases. That's for grade 12 and grade 11. Right. So grade 10 is generally just phase one and two. So what you want to do wherever you are going to be doing your pet, whether it's at school, um, you know, or working on it at home, you want to make sure that the first thing you do is just go and create a folder. And I'm just going to call this um, John Smith Pet 2022. Okay, that's the first thing you want to do. Get that out of the way. And then inside that folder, you want to create the folder structure that they're going to be asking you for. And that is to say, you know, something like, um, let's change it to pet phase one. And then we'll have another folder for pet phase two. And then obviously if you are grade 11 um, or grade 12, you will have a pet phase three folder as well. So for the purpose of this example, this is what I'm going to do. But please take note, grade 10s, um, you want to check in your pet document when you do get it. But I know they usually only have two phases. But again, double check it in your document. So here you can see now we have our folder structure. If I go back here, you can see there's my pet folder. And inside that I've got phase one, phase two, uh, and phase three. Okay. So let's look at what else they want us to do. And there you can see when we look at phase one, one of the you know, the items that we need to complete is a folder structure. Now we've already done that. Right, so here we go. Here they're telling us create an appropriate electronic folder structure in which you store your work as follows. Create a main folder. Do we have that? Yes, we've got our main folder, John Smith Pet 2022. Uh, within the main folder, each phase must have its own subfolder. But in the main folder, each folder has its own, you know, subfolder. Um, and the names of the folders and files that you will store in them should be meaningful. Yes, it is meaningful. Okay. Uh, all the documents that you create and the evidence that you collect must be saved in these appropriate folders. Documents and folders must be organized in such a way that it's easy to navigate. So we can see it's easy to navigate. So that's all they're really saying under the folder structure. So that's the first thing you want to do. And guys, you do get marks for this. So, um, yeah, there's no, there's no, uh, excuse for people getting zero for a pet and unfortunately it does okay um the next thing we need to do is create a report right now you can see from the report they want uh, a word processed report that contains the following it's got to have a cover page an automatic table of contents automatic table of figures you know all those types of things okay so what we're going to do is we're going to head over to microsoft word And I'm going to create a new document, new blank document, not going to do anything in it, but I'm going to save it as uh, what they need, which is phase one working document. I'm going to browse for that folder that I just created. Let's have a look here. Here we go. My pet. I'm going to go into phase one and I'm going to name this phase one working document okay it's a word document i'm going to save it it's done so now when i go to my folder structure and i go into phase one i have my document let's look at the handing for phase one again this is the grade 12 pet generally the others are the same in terms of what needs to be handed in but guys you want to check that on your particular pet document when it comes up so submit a copy of your entire pet folder to your teacher. Okay, we've got our pet folder. The following should be in your phase one subfolder. 
So this folder over here, my phase one subfolder, what do we need to have in there? I need a single report document. Okay, so a single document typed using a word processing application that has a cover page, the following headings. It must have a task definition and focus question under the appropriate headings. Um, it needs to have an appendix with a diagram or screenshot of the folder structure, an appendix with completed questions and source tables, and regarding that, um, you, you need to have it folded in with a minimum of 10 questions, sources for each question, you know, bibliography, all that. So a few other things I'm just going to look at are just touching on some of these things. So what do they want? They want a cover page. So I'm going to open that document and I'm going to create a cover page. And again, for the purpose of this, I'm just going to do very, very simple things so you can see what the layout should be. So I go to the insert tab cover page and I'm just going to select any cover page doesn't really matter and there we go my cover page has been created okay and let's say I'm going to call this at 2022 okay. again there are certain things that need to be um, in the cover page so yeah just please bear that in mind okay so now we've got our cover page we're going to go now down to our second page. What do they want? Uh, they want us to have the, the provisional, following provisional headings. Okay, so now that we've got our table of contents in place, um, our next page, I go to, we're going to insert a table of figures. And we're going to go over here and just click on insert table of figures. I'm just going to leave everything as is and I'm going to click OK. Obviously, there are no figures or captions that um, are going to be pulled through yet because there's nothing else here. All right, let's go over to the next page. On the next page, we're now looking at introduction. So I'm going to follow these headings in this particular order. So now that we've typed that in, you can see we have our cover page, which is what they wanted. Right? You can see here also they want your name, surname, the name of your school, subject name, and the pet topic. Got that? Then page two I've got my table of contents table of contents yes I've got that you can see from the headings over here table of contents then I've got my table of figures table of figures I have my introduction my task definition headings have moved focus question discussion and analysis so you can see I'm just going through these headings again findings because uh, these are the headings that they wanted conclusion bibliography and then the last one I think is appendices okay so now we have all those headings and again I haven't done much but the structure of everything is in place okay, with this document your task definition and focus question under the appropriate headings. We've got those headings. Uh, an appendix with a diagram or screenshot of the folder structure. So the easiest way for me is usually to do it this way. Um, just go to your folder structure. So I just go into my pet over there, pet folder, and I press uh, print screen on the keyboard. Go back into my document and I'm going to go to the appendices and under that I'm just going to put in folder structure and I'm going to make that um, a level 2 heading right, and then all I do I just paste the picture in there you might just need to crop it depending on what it's going to see um, but there you go there's my appendices and there's my folder structure Okay, there they can see is my pet folder and there's my phase one, two, and three. So I've now already got that in place. Appendix uh, with a diagram or screenshot. So you can do a smart art diagram if you want to. I just find it easier doing this. Then an appendices uh, or an appendix with the completed questions and sources table with all the columns. And we can see appendix D in the document. 
So I'm going to go through to that now. And then they want an appendix with the declaration of authenticity. Here you can see appendix C. Um, I'm just going to highlight this as is. I'm going to copy that and pop that over using the second option where I merge the formatting. Um, and I have that now in my document under the appendix. All right, and then we go to appendix D. And they just mentioned that this is what your source table must look like. Now, this is important um, because obviously this is what the grade 12 one is going to look like. Uh, your grade 10 one is going to be different to this. And uh, some people do it differently as well, where they have uh, the table or this table split up. So they have three tables, you know, just covering the first section over here. Um, then another set of tables covering the bibliographical information um, together with the uh, quality of information found and the summary. So it doesn't matter which way you do it. At the end of the day, you just need your um, tables completed and only three of those sources um, need to have the bibliographical information, quality of info and the summary onto it as well. Okay, so there you can see I've got my basic structure. I have my cover page, my table of contents, which I can now update. And there we go. I have my table of figures. I have my introduction, my task definition, my focus question, my discussion and analysis. Now, please bear in mind the discussion and analysis that will come through um towards the end of well it'll be phase two or it'll be phase um three that you'll complete that in when this document becomes your report so please this document once you are done with phase one you're going to copy that over into your phase two folder because you are going to be adding to it findings my conclusion and then i've got my bibliography heading i've got my appendices heading with and we don't even have to call it folder structure. We can actually say it's Appendix A. And our declaration of authenticity, we can call this Appendix uh, B. Heading 2, update that. And there we go. So that is getting everything in place. So once you've got your pet document, you can start running and filling this in.